Oh my God. Welcome back. Welcome back. We started so abruptly. Uh, to episode 97. Of? Of Are We Still Friends? What was the giggle for? I just was surprised how fast we were moving. Exactly. Oh, well, Lena. the slate came in, you know. But we always pre-chat. I know, but I said we should maybe stop pre-chatting because like people might not like. Yeah, I know. Like, I agree. Oh, are we recording? <laughs> Is the device on? We're setting it for new listeners. That sets them up to be like, oh, these ladies, they're 80. So like they know. No, we're trying to escape that. Oh, we are. Okay. Yeah. Okay, okay. yeah. I, at least I know our intent now. Okay. Because before I was kind of putting out elderly vibes. Yeah. But I'm trying to present as young. Okay. 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 Well, okay. So we were just saying that I said, if, no, when, <laughs> when we blow up. You're going to have to travel. I'm so good at traveling. You haven't seen me travel. And then oh you God. said, okay, good. Okay. And then you said, oh, I have three things, but I didn't write them down. Yeah. My three things that you were going to speak into existence. Oh. Exactly. My, what is that? Affirmations? Manifestations. Affirmations. Manifestations. I have my three manifestations that I want you to proclaim. Okay. Hit, hit me. Oh, wait, do you whisper them or? Well, the thing is, is, I feel like I should write them down. You should look at all three and then you should determine okay, which what deserves worthy. to be spoken aloud. This is an audio format, though, so writing it down doesn't really help us. No, totally. But I want to write it down so Alina can decide. Gotcha, yes. gotcha. You know, gotcha, I don't gotcha. want to just put, I, if I put too much out there, the universe isn't going to know what to pick up on. Yeah. And I need Alina to project to the universe. So while we're talking, I could write these things down if you want to grab me a piece of paper and a pen. Mm-hmm. Thank you, Alex. Yeah, of course. <laughs> did that come across as super bossy? Because like I felt no. the most bossy I've ever no. been in my entire life. It did. Life. It did. But like, I, but, like, but I, I know you didn't mean the it sentence, that way. I wanted to come. Sometimes myself. when you just say things out loud, you realize like, oh, I didn't mean it that way. I know. I'm, I'm, um, but I'm working on But my... then you have to double down. Yeah, here it is. Here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, keep talking while I write because okay. I don't want you to see these yet. You know what okay. I mean? Okay. And I can, I can multitask. I'm a woman. You know what I mean? Yeah. So let's gab. Let's talk. Let's gab. So, um. what the heck, Alina? <laughs> you know this is my least favorite thing. I know. And we've already been fighting. I know. So it's like, are we breaking I up? I know. Like you have to tell me here and now if we're breaking up. Um, we're here. Are you texting me silently? Yeah, I am. Okay. Okay. So, for don't look down. Okay. <laughs> for some. Yeah. You know, unfortunate reasons I was at a church and <laughs> well, I can't, I don't want, I know, I know, I know, yeah. but just the start of the sentence, you know, it's I know. just like, okay. Okay. But so lovely. Um, <clears throat> it was a Catholic church. I don't know. I've been what. Okay. And, um, we were coming back and I was talking to Noel who grew up Catholic wow yeah bomb dropped did we all know noel grew up catholic does he know all the words you know to all the songs yeah oh wow it's oh, it's so impressive when that happens and um <laughs> you're not passing notes we're passing notes this is how it's going to be done okay. continue and um i did an alina okay and it was a much needed laugh at the time okay because i said oh the Pasture <laughs> said X, Y, Z. And he said, just so quickly, he said, pastor. And I said, pasture. <laughs> and he goes, that's for cows. <laughs> Was it only you two or did everyone else hear this? No, but I, I would have said this in a group setting. Oh, my God. So does everyone know this? Does everyone know? No, no, no. Does everyone know a pasture is for grazing? Does everyone know that there's a slight difference between a pastor and a pasture? Yeah. Because I always thought pastor was like tacos al pastor. <laughs> I totally understand the confusion. <laughs> I totally understand the confusion here. <laughs> I see where you're going. I get it. If you didn't grow up, pastor, you know, under the church of God, 
<laughs> I think is it? Maybe. How you would you know? know the difference? No, of course no not. No one's throwing that word around me. I know. I the know. only ever only time I've heard pastor is El Pastor. Is El pastor. <laughs> <laughs> I find this hilarious. And I feel like pasture is like It's close. It's much more peaceful. Yeah, you're right. And church should be a peaceful place. Grazing. Yeah, it's like it's a calming space. You know, cows graze, they roam. Yeah. It's pasture. And if you say it kind of the pasture. So say, maybe it's like say, almost an accent. Speak of speak of the pastor. Speak of him. Well, it's I would say I'm putting the emphasis on the t pastor mm. instead of pasture. You know? It's almost such French. It's a slight difference. It's it's very slight. Ever and so slight. Honestly, I was surprised you even heard the difference. <laughs> That's cows. I like that he like was whispering it to you as like he wanted to correct you in case anyone was like overhearing. Yeah. In in a general sense though, bigger picture, I get very confused about the difference between pastor and like priest. And also like priest is Christian. Church. Is it? How do you know? I don't know. I'm just making the assumption. What about like I, I get confused on if I'm calling I mean you did say pastor. I, <laughs> I wouldn't make kind of like a grass to pastor reference, but I always get nervous when I'm having that discussion. Like when I'm referencing that person, I'm like, priest? You know, I say it with a question mark. You know? Well, I, if you take a look at exhibit A, which is a uh, seventh heaven. Oh, that was very much so Christian. You're right. And he was a priest. <laughs> he was a priest. Okay. That fully clarifies but actually, it for me. When you were in Rome... Oh, I was there. They're priests, but they're uh, pastors. Pastors sounds so weird. My pastor, but I swear, I swear you just I've said heard pastor. Past pastor, I swear <laughs> I've heard my friends that are Christians say my pastor. Well, we we need Maryam to weigh in here. Maryam. Yeah, I think it seems like uh, pastors are more affiliated with uh, Protestant Christianity, or yeah. Pastors. Okay, so. In the United States, the term pastor is used by Catholics. Okay, never mind. But in the United States, the term pastor is used by Catholics for what in other English speaking countries is called a parish priest. The Latin term used in the Code of Canada. I didn't hear anything you said. And honestly, I was like so kind and of. Also, I'm just spiraling about. Because he keeps saying pastor. Uh, like, <laughs> like you did. Pastor? Did I? It's pastor. I said pastor. It's you pastor. You said pastor. Pastor. No, no, you said, said pastor. pastor. I, uh, two seconds ago, I said pastor, but when I was talking about pastor, I was saying pastor. No, you. When you were reading, Kate. Kate's like, I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm, I'm looking it up, but it seems like it's used kind of interchangeably a little bit. But that may be wrong. I, I need a second because a lot of people use it interchangeably. It so this is a good discussion. Oh, I can't read it. You can't read it that way. Let me read it like. This. Are you still writing me notes? Yeah. For our Christian church at home, it's pastor. It's a pastor. See, I knew it. It's Christian. Oh, well, that's confusing. Non-denominational reminds me of I went to a non-denominational as well. You know what? I was sent to the kids zone and I just don't know. I'm not, I'm not sure what anyone was talking about in there. But I really didn't like the kids zone because I was separated from my parents. I was like, <laughs> and my sister because we were different age groups. daycare. So I was like the, fir I was like the one in the corner. <laughs> no i was probably like seven and i was like mom i can't go to church like i don't have any friends there <laughs> you gotta have friends in yeah church. that's how i felt about the ymca <laughs> <laughs> had no friends there and school you know okay a pastor is typically associated with a minister or <laughs> who serves a congregation parish. what is a minister in the like <laughs> okay, we have to move on oh, and get an here expert. Go, here, we go, here we go. In some religious traditions, the term minister, priest, and pastor might be used interchangeably, while in others, they may refer to different roles or functions. Minister can refer to any person who serves in a leadership or pastoral role within a church or religious community, regardless of whether they have been ordained or authorized to lead worship. Although many ministers hold the traditional master of divinity degree, in some cases, <laughs> Service chaplains over the rules. Chaplains, God. <laughs> <laughs> I think we have to do a religious deep dive episode yeah. just it's on almost like the an terms. Onion. It, it religion. Yeah, yeah. Um. So who who would you want to be? I feel like I definitely would want to be a minister. That that sounds like minister? top top dog. I'd be like call me priest. Call me priest. 
So See, you'd want to be a priest? I'd party. be a priest. What would you want to be? So they would call you father then? Yeah. You want to be called daddy? No, father. Okay. Father seems more, you know, in charge. Gotcha. Well, what, what would you want to be? God. Okay. <laughs> You got me there, Alex. That is top dog. Hey, friends. Valentine's Day is just around the corner. And while it's the perfect time to shower others with love, don't forget about showering your skin with some love, too. With harsh winter weather in full swing, your skin is craving extra attention. Thanks to today's sponsor, OneSkin, you can give your skin TLC beyond the surface with topical supplements that improve the health of your skin at a cellular level. Their secret, you might ask? Well, it's OneSkin's proprietary OS1 peptide. It's the first ingredient scientifically proven to reduce the buildup of senescent cells, those notorious zombie cells that contribute to skin aging. Fewer zombie cells means healthier, younger looking skin with fewer lines and wrinkles, reduced age spots, and stronger natural barrier. That's something especially important this time of year. So show your skin some love with one skin. For a limited time, our listeners will get an exclusive 15% off with their first one skin purchase using the code STILLFRIENDS when they check out at oneskin.co. Both of us are huge fans of one skin for many, many reasons. Yes, we are. And one of those reasons is that they combine tissue engineering data analysis, and cutting-edge longevity science to create the world's most effective product to target your skin's aging. OneSkin believes the purpose of skincare is not to just improve how we look, but to optimize our skin's biology so that it is more resilient to the aging process. They create next-level skincare. As a skincare freak who daydreams of wearing other people's skins, I have been pulled into trying all the latest products to help my skin as I age. But this is the first skincare line that I've used knowing that it's not just treating the symptoms of aging. That's right. One Skin is more than just skincare. It's about getting deep into your skin. It's about your skin longevity. It's about targeting the root causes of aging to help you look and feel your best at every age. It's really important to get in there and treat what's going on, not just lather something on the top Very as a true. quick solve. So to get started today, you can get 15% off using our code STILLFRIENDS at oneskin.co. That's 15% off with oneskin.co using code STILLFRIENDS. And after you purchase, they'll ask where you heard about them. So please help support our show and show and show and show that... That is our show. So tell them <laughs> that we sent you from our show. It's from it's our show. You should. So tell you them. should show us. Exactly. Anyways, you, you get it. It's time to expect more from your skincare routine. Invest in the health of your skin with one skin. Okay, we have the three special notes for you. Read okay. them over, look at them okay. quietly. But, discuss amongst yourself. Okay, we'll discuss. Well, <laughs> I can't <laughs> talk to Alex what after what he say, right? Yeah. Do they say that? I thought they yeah. said like Shut up and be quiet. I'm doing some work up here. <laughs> <laughs> I've never heard a teacher say you guys talk amongst yourselves. The spelling on these? I think I said maturity. Well, you can't give it away. I said mature. You just want to be more, more, mature. Want to be more mature. Mature. That's a manifestation. Maybe. That's just more like a, a decision. <laughs> That's on you. Mm -hmm. Now, <clears throat> choose wisely. <laughs> Choose. That's tough. That's tough. I know. Because there's so many good options here. I know. Do I want to be selfish? Yes. I need you to be selfish here. And I need you to pick the one that... Sorry. <laughs> Lately, whenever... I've done this to Noel like 10 times. <laughs> Every time. <laughs> he mentions someone being like silent or like it was silent or something. Yeah. I go... Were you silent or were you silenced? <laughs> <laughs> and he just is like, why do you keep bringing that up? And <laughs> like, it's like, it's, it's from Oprah. Like she said that to Meghan Markle. Like it's iconic. It's just like the, it's the best sentence I feel. It is. I wonder if she made that up on the spot. Or Who do you knows? think she had that back pocket? Who like knows? she was like feeling that sentence and then she's like, this is going to be the perfect. And so I just hit him with it all the time. I'm just like, well, were you silent or were you silenced? Was he mostly silenced? 
I don't even know if it like really applies. I'm sure it doesn't, <laughs> but I'd love to know his response for every yeah. situation. But you should, you should start saying it. Everyone listening, you should start saying it. You want to know what my new saying is? Because honestly, it will leave people speechless. Like, what do you say back to that? An answer, I would hope. I hope someone says something. I feel like if you get that question response, you're like, oh, like it's so I, introspective. I, I, yeah, I didn't think about it that way. Yeah. Like, was I silenced? I don't know. Yeah. Have you heard of this t- saying, Sarah? No. <laughs> Have you seen the interview? I mean, I saw bits and pieces. Okay. You know, I'm, and I don't want to like. Um, you know, get anyone's goat here. I don't want to jimmy some strings, okay? I'm not, like, super gung-ho on the Prince and Princess of Genovia. You know, like, <laughs> like I said, like, you know, eh. Y- you don't eh. have to be, but it's like... I saw some, of th- I saw most of the interview. Yeah. But I didn't see the silence. Okay, it's just so good. <laughs> what does Megan say? Were you silent or were you silenced? Oh, she had that. <laughs> the eyebrow raised she's like I know she's I like, fucking yeah, said that, and that. You, you need to start using it in everyday also, life also my hands are kind of mimicking Oprah's hands so I feel like we should say Sarah your your hand motions they're kind of like Oprah yeah mm. yeah they're more Trumpian you're more you're more like flailing well, <laughs> fl- you flail more than, than I'm gonna do, keep them do. low like this and then you guys I, are gonna I be actually like I don't even like move my hands I know you keep them like yeah. in a nice yeah below section yeah and I'm fiddling. You really are. Fiddling with myself, fiddling with my face, fiddling out here. Yeah. I touch your toes. So be selfish. In Should this. I read all of these? Because they're just, it's they're so entertaining. No, you can only read the one that I hope you read. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What if we ask everyone to manifest something in the comments based off the three? What do you mean? Like we let the people decide. Group manifestation group, stronger. Oh my God. Yes. Group manifestation. Yes. Okay. 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 I, Cause I think what the, I know, I know what the group's going to pick. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I do too. Okay. Here we go. Mm, I don't like that laugh. <laughs> <laughs> it's a podcast success beyond our wildest dreams. I think it had to be written like that because I don't even want to put a limit on it, baby. Yeah. Yeah, it's yeah, yeah. beyond. There's no limiter. There's no limit. The ceiling does not exist. Thank you. Number two. Number two. This all happens within the year. BTW. Yeah, mm. 2024. Waylon sleeps through the night. <laughs> Full night sleep, baby. Let's do it. I think you can do it. Yeah. It's not up to me. Yeah. <laughs> it is. Sleeping pills, you can make it happen. Oh, That's yeah. true. Gum mm. rubbing. Mm, gum rubbing, some whiskey. Let's get her fucked up. <laughs> My poor baby. <laughs> Alina takes maturity leave <laughs> <laughs> you know i don't know how to spell maternity and every time i spell it maturity but she gets what i mean yeah mm, mm. this yeah. year alina takes maternity leave i really hope for podcast success beyond our wildest dreams but the group has to decide it's group yeah, thought the group thought so you guys all manifest manifest it. with us yeah should we take a moment of silence for the manifestations mm-hmm. let's do it how, how long is a moment can we say like, That's a good question. Like three seconds? I think it's like 10. Oh my God, you're kidding me. Okay. Well, I think you t- you're going to take a moment of silence for someone at a ball game and you're going to do three seconds? You're right. It's okay. One breath. <laughs> oh, well, you say it like that. Okay, 10 seconds. In Ready? medieval times, a moment was 90 seconds long. Nowadays, nowadays, some claim that a moment is one and a half seconds or just a short period of time. Just a <laughs> short period of time? <gasps> someone got lazy with their response. Yep. Wow. I, th- it's, I say it's a solid 10 seconds. That's a good moment. Okay. Let's have ready. it. Who's counting? Me. Okay. On my fingers. Here we go. Let's have a moment. I was done <sighs> after five. So we should really revise <laughs> moments to be five. <laughs> 10 seconds is way too long for someone like me. I've got energy. I've got thoughts. I know. Okay. On to the episode. There's a new thing. <laughs> There's a new thing going around. <coughs> Do I know about it? Let's find out. It's called legging legs. And I don't know the origin, but I've just seen everyone up in arms over the fact that it's become a thing. Oh, wow. Okay. What's the thing? Have you thing is- dealt with it? Um. <laughs> I feel 
Okay. Legging legs is... There's a new rule now. Oh, no. About the best people <gasps> who look best in leggings. Okay. Okay. And they are generally thin. Oh, they are? <laughs> <laughs> with a thigh gap. And everyone is up in arms because we abolished the thigh gap. Yeah, that's been gone since at least 2016, right? Can we say? Yeah, but it's being brought back. Mm. And now women are like, now I have to come on this app and have one more thing to be insecure about. Is this TikTok? Yeah. Okay. One more thing to be tic- to be insecure about mm. that honestly I wasn't even thinking about. Yeah. And the thigh gap is done. The is thigh done. gap is based off of the way your body looks and I is know. built. Like you can't. I think it's your hips, right? It is. It has nothing to do with your legs. Yeah. yeah. Anyway. Yeah. I mean, oh, what a statement. Like, oh, All like leggings, leggings look good on. can go in leg- I know. leggings. And isn't the leggings supposed to be like super flattering for everyone? Who, yeah. Like the legging is what we wear to be comfortable. It is. It's not it is. to be judged. Like I'm going outside of my leggings because I'm comfy cozy. Mm. I'm usually never wearing leggings to work out ever so i've never thought about it but i generally don't find leggings very flattering on me but i just made that like like it's kind of like skinny jeans like skinny jeans don't like if we're talking about flattering like that is the equivalent of a skinny jean and it's not the most flattering on me so i just wear something else but if i'm you just don't going wear leggings to work out yeah okay but if i'm going for comfort and like what sweats yeah sweats i think is a little bit more comfortable i wear leggings to work out but i don't like wearing leggings out and about mm-hmm. i think partially because i feel very exposed they're super tight they're very tight yeah you got c toe oh you can definitely get c toe you can get c toe and i just they're just not like comfortable for me yeah but i've never thought about it like oh i don't have the type of body to wear them Mm. you know yeah so if i'm going for comfort i'm gonna wear sweats if i'm going for a workout i'm gonna wear leggings if i'm just chilling at home and i'm not thinking about it i'll wear leggings if they're a good comfy pair super comfortable straight leggings more like just a straight fit yeah those look a little bit i feel a little bit more comfortable in them but can you believe i can there's a coined term now Legging legs? Legging legs. I mean, that doesn't surprise me. I mean, right? Like everyone always says these days that, you know, we're but I making we strides. Moved away and then we do shit that. like this. I mean, I'm not fully surprised about the, the internet doing Kate, anything. Kate, have you seen legging legs? I've come across this. <laughs> Yeah, I've seen, I've seen it on TikTok, and I think the New York Post had like an article <gasps> about it just recently. Just about, about it being stupid. Yeah, like it's a toxic trend. Yeah, it is toxic. It's just so like they're basically trying to make it so that like only skinny girls can wear leggings nowadays, yeah. which sucks. Thigh gappers, and is like not true, but that's just, what people are saying. I've like recently been under. I've been doing things with fashion. Okay, that I've never done before. Oh, yeah. And I have come under the thought process that if you wear something enough, it's for you. Mm. Even if you don't feel comfortable in it at first. Okay. So I feel like, number one, abolish legging legs. Yeah, that's, insane. that's insane. I think if you don't like, like for me, I don't love wearing them, but I never coined a term or said it was because I look a certain way. I just, they just remind me of skinny jeans. Mm. And skinny jeans, I just, they're not. But what are skinny jeans? Are, are they just tight pants? You don't know what skinny jeans like, are? Like a straight leg? Like what is a skinny, skinny jean? Skinny jeans go all the way down to the <laughs> to the ankle. Like, what do you mean you don't know? Like like what's the difference between, I feel like all the jeans are tight and go down to my ankle. Are you wearing that skinny jean? No. Oh. Skinny jean is a legging basically as a jean. That tight? that tight where were you growing up where were you your entire like, oh, well, teenage years dickies dickies but like that's not even it what? Dickies. right dickies are as, are as a dicky a skinny jean dickies are they skinny jeans who am i doing this with wait. the one that was just born last year wait Did you get hit in the head are, are, you, you, are like, you an alien we can't just say skinny jeans to be a human every time i put on jeans i'm like oh wow like 
These are tight to my skin. Sarah. What is a skinny jean? Um, what is going on? I'm so confused. I'm actually... Should we call Corbin? Wait, Did you hit your head? Alex, you stood up and like showed me pants as if Did, you're saying like, this is a skinny no, jean. No, I showed up to say, you said, aren't all jeans skinny and yeah. tight to your legs? And I showed you that mine are very Okay, not, so there's so. a skinny jean and like a boyfriend jean. And then you have oh a my boot God. cut. What are we... Who, who you guys, is this? Are you an alien? <laughs> you guys, a skinny jean... Don't you remember jean. what we just abolished as a society? Leggings? Skinny jeans. Low rise? Skinny jeans. <laughs> what? Can any jean be a skinny jean? No. Alex, don't act like you know. <laughs> I, I, yes, I, he does. I, You're I'm, just, you don't know, yes, Alex. I'm shocked. You don't know. This is insane. Can you pull jeans? up a picture of a I'm, skinny jean? Yeah, I'm jean. pulling them up. I'm pulling them up. Skinny and you know what the jeans. first thing I look Wait, up? is it Dickies? No, why? Stop blaming a brand. But Dickies <laughs> could Dickies be are the, s- the polar opposite and uh, always will be the polar opposite of, of a skinny, skinny jeans. Jean. Yeah. What? Are you guys insane? No, you are. You are insane. No. What's if you a look, dicky then? If you dickies what's are a like dickies? dickies are like straight it's like a pants. Slack. Yeah. A dickies a slack? Are you insane? Are you insane? Are you insane? So the first thing I look I see when I look up skinny jeans is two thousands. That's what happens. But that's what I'm saying. That's a that's a dicky. No, it's not. These jeans you're wearing right here. That's a, those are leggings. Oh my god. <laughs> you're looking on my Instagram. But that's what I'm saying. Aren't all jeans skinny jeans? No. They're tight. They're, Look, they're, are you seeing these? A, skinny. These are skinny jeans. What, that, what am I saying about like those are skinny jeans? Okay. Look at those. See, what, see those right there? See how Isn't they're- that a dicky? What? What do you guys are you guys not under, understanding what I mean by I when I say dicky? So so look 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 what see what happens when I look up dickies? You see how loose dickies these pants are? are? Loose. Do you see how loose are these Are you guys insane? Sarah, dickies no pockets. Sarah, dickies no pockets. Okay, okay, okay. Blue okay, right okay. Now. Dickies are straight. So so you guys don't skinny get, jeans. Sarah, look at these. The first thing that happens when you look up dickies man. is loose pants. No, when you no, look no, up skinny how. jeans, it's pants that are tight around so the ankles. Skinny jeans see this pleat? go straight through the calf like they're tight and they're sucked around your calf dickies are loose from the calf down the internet is gonna get me because you guys are not getting me when i say dickies sarah look at this dickies no pockets look look how look how loose these are look how loose these are look at the look at the bagginess look at the look at the bag internet internet in sixth okay. and seventh grade, there was a, these jeans called Dickies, and they were very low rise. They had no pockets. They were the not bottom, khakis. The bottom was like that first one. No, it they they were lo- they're loose. They're loose at the bottom. I'm sure Dickies had skinny jeans as well. But when you say Dickies, the stereotype Dickies. for Dickies is slack loose pants. You're as Oprah said, I will be reclaimed. <laughs> they didn't say that. The internet, <laughs> as as Oprah said. People will come to my defense on this. Oprah didn't say this either. <laughs> As Oprah said, I'm distraught. Be with me or I'll silence you. <laughs> no, also not what she said. A Dickie stereotype, sure, maybe Dickies has skinny jeans lines, but the stereotype but yeah, for Dickies you is a loose If you're referencing pant. like I swear. skinny jeans, you would never say Dickies. Yeah. I'm like having like a... Like an out of you're body having, experience. You're having a my whole body's a lapse of judgment. my whole body's wet because I feel misunderstood. You're having a lapse of judgment. It's okay. Let's like can we circle back to the main point? What I'm saying is wrong. <laughs> <laughs> what I'm saying is the internet is can be a mean place and clothes are for everyone. Except if you really don't want to wear those clothes, don't do it. Yeah. But what I have to say is I recently have been putting on a cowboy hat and let me say. I was embarrassed by it. And then finally I was like, you know what? This is kind of fun. So I wore it for a longer period of time. So that could be you in leggings if you're unsure. Yeah. Okay. If you do anything. I wear leggings. I wear leggings to work out. I just don't like wearing leggings. And you out always and about. didn't like this before legging legs. Yes. Before okay, legging okay, okay, legs. Okay. I just didn't even know. Like legging legs is stupid. Like I'll, I will wear leggings if I want to wear leggings. It's just there's like you have to. You, if you want to wear what you, what? No, Alex looked aghast <laughs> at me. He almost like put his head down in no, shape. No, everyone has different body types. And for me, a more straight leg or a flare or just something that's like looser around the bottom does a little bit more for me. So if I'm going off of what I feel best in, it's not going to be skinny jeans or leggings. Mm. But that doesn't mean that you can't wear leggings or that you don't have legging legs. You know? Yeah. And it's just silly. It it's is just silly. silly. It's silly. Wear what you want to wear. Wear what you think is flattering for you. I know. Wear what you're comfortable in. 
Don't let the internet tell you otherwise. Seriously. Except when they get jean styles wrong. Well, no, you cannot you're, be. You're mad. Yeah. She's mad. It's sad because you're also just like wrong. You know, the, I've uh, never felt so <laughs> no, strong in my No, you came in here two months ago in skinny jeans and I skinny said. jeans. Oh, those are my mom's jeans. Yes. Though. And I was like, whoa. And you're like, I know these are my mom's. And like you acknowledge they're not like in right now. But I don't really ever know what's in. So I wasn't sure that I was going to get that look. I was, I thought I was more getting the look because of the color scheme of the jean. Mm. Not necessarily the tightness no. of the jean. No. You know how like how the light, there's light parts up the top? Yeah. I, uh, the ombre of this the This is jean. reminding me of like light flow, heavy flow. Like that argument. But again, like I can't prove let's, it. Let's, let's reconvene in episode 98. Thank come God. with facts, come with receipts. We'll I can't, talk I don't want my it. period. No, no, we're talking about jeans. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Good. I'm going to come with facts. Yes. Figures. Speaking of like being silent or being silenced. I feel like I'm being silenced. <laughs> One of our big fights, like very early on, mm-hmm. uh, we were pre-pod, pre-pod, and Sarah was talking as she Shocker. does. And I needed to silence her <laughs> and the only thing that came to mind was a shh oh remember that mm. remember? No one, it was everyone's d-day i think <laughs> and like Too you've far. like really made me feel like horrible about it <laughs> it may as well may as well it may have well it may as well may as well been a slap to the face yeah you were really really like by it and i'm like we argue all the time like like so and i guess have you ever like, been shushed have you ever yeah no you probably haven't been shushed. i'm pretty quiet so no no one's no one's, a, no one's just, and i like and i i like read the room you know so i'm never oh. i'm never talking when you shouldn't be talking oh my god that's literally the only time i'm talking how, how many times have you been shushed in your life the limit does not exist <laughs> <laughs> it is so often so it happens all the time i don't yeah. think i've ever been shushed oh my god alina as a shushied as someone who shushed there's nothing worse than a shush it is <laughs> shocking to the system have you shushed anyone i would never shush anyone ever that would mean if i shush someone that would mean like we're breaking up yeah you thought it was like over yeah i like thought about it the whole drive home i was like maybe alina doesn't want to hear me speak at all times at every second <laughs> like how am i gonna live after this but i think i told you this the the second worst thing to a shush and it's it's really neck and neck for me as someone who gets it often is oh. when someone holds up a finger and is I like do that one second <laughs> open a window because i'm diving out you know like that's the level of upset do your parents ever do that to you what did you say? Did your parents ever do that to you? Never. And that's probably why I have an issue with uh, speaking all the time. It's like they seem to always be captivated. Like <laughs> so your parents never told you no as a kid? No, I'm sure I told no, <laughs> but not verbally. You know, like, <laughs> not like, like, shh, no, uh, you know. Oh, the, the, always combo, the combo of yeah. the shush and the finger is a lot. Shh. Oh, my God. Could you imagine it's if you were trying one sec, to... One sec. I know. <laughs> oh, it's... <laughs> It's literally, it, it could, it stops when I you're I think it, you're allowed to do that if you're like getting a phone call. It, yeah. It doesn't matter. If it doesn't the, matter. If you're on the phone, what do you, like, if you're on an important phone call. Do this, do this instead. You're not going to hear anything that anyone's no, saying? No, just be like, that's but, it. But then you're missing what's happening on the phone call when no. you're doing that. Yeah, yeah, sometimes it's just like, you just got to no, finger it up. No, put that motherfucking finger down, I'll chop it off. That's how I feel So what's that worse, finger. that or shush? Are they the same? They're oh. almost they're almost neck and neck, but shh is worse because you're literally like verbalizing. Shh. Yeah, yeah. Especially if it's short like that. Shh. Like, what? You want me to shut the fuck up? Are you kidding me? What about like a shh? That's no. kind of creepy. Like a gentle one. You're trying to do like a gentle do one. Do a kind gentle of? Yeah, yeah, shush yeah. for uh, me. Uh, that's not, uh, you're yeah. You got it. Try it. Shh. That, that no. Was, no, that was a little harsh too. I'm gonna kill myself. How did I shush you earlier? Today? Yeah, I shush you today. <laughs> what you were giving something away what, what were you doing i said maternity no no it was when you were oh. we were the paper you were yeah. writing something and i shushed you and that's what made me write shush oh really oh wow i mean i can't think back to that so much has happened since then 
you know, like my oh, mind. Oh, you were, I- you were, it was the same thing. You were saying good podcast stuff. Oh, I was? Yeah, she started yeah. talking about something. And I went, shh. I now, think that's okay, an okay do, shush. The thing is, is like, you do it a lot to me. And so now it's, it's numbed down the shushing. And if it's in regards to like, shh, don't say that yet, I can understand the context. Oh, I like that you added a sentence with your shush just now. Yeah. If it goes along with something quickly, like a loop to loop, we're good. But if it's shh, nothing comes next. <laughs> Are you kidding me? The, the did, lines, I, the what, things what I'm filling in really? in my head. Shh, save that. Like if it's a, if it's that a long like, like, like you were just saying that. Shh, save S. <laughs> <laughs> shh. And sometimes I think I went shh. You think you did that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it was anything like that. Yeah. Because with you, it's like abrupt. It's like, oh. I know, like you're stopping me in my tracks. Yeah. Alex, how would you shush? I think it's funny that you quivered after you did it, but uh, <laughs> I think you're right. I think if you shh and let it hang, it's then it, it's a like, whoa. Like that's that. Like if it's like, shh, oh, please, can you just shh, one second? Like that's different than like, shh. And then there's. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You know yeah, I mean? like, yeah. Yeah. That there's just silence like, fills the room. Yeah. Imagine like getting shushed in a movie theater. You know, like there's a lot of places where. I got shushed at a concert. <gasps> A, oh, yeah, were you yeah. singing? Were you con- singing? No, 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 no. We were talking about how much we liked the song. Like we were discussing like how great the during concert, the song, like how how great the concert was. Alex, we were like, oh my god, yeah. this is so great. And and then she's like, this woman goes, are you guys just gonna talk the entire time? So we just walked up. We were like, walked to a different shush. section. No, she went. Shh, you're gonna talk the entire time. People are trying to listen. And we're like, it's pretty fucking loud. Like, <laughs> can you even yeah, hear us? Yeah, I've definitely group shushed. What do you mean group shushed? Do you got people like, on your side to shush? Like if you're in a group setting, you're playing a game and someone's talking and then you're all kind of collectively like, shh, that's allowed. Mm. You know, or like now if, you're shushing multiple people at once. If the teacher's like, let's start playing this oh. game and you're all kind of on the shush train and you're all mm. shushing. I think that's where my Sometimes issue I with think shushing shush started. is like a polite way to tell someone to stop talking. I think you should just say like, you're being like, a, no, there's no polite way. Like, you know, when like, ah. Uh, you know when you were like on airplanes and they'd actually make you be quiet for like the demonstration and they'd Good like times. tell you to stop talking? Oh, you were too little. So they would do that. Remember? Like everyone had to watch them do the demonstration. Well, we had nothing else going on. Like so we could easily be quiet as a group. But collectively, like like say you were in full on conversation and they were like, everyone needs to pay attention. Isn't it polite if I'm like, shh, no. <laughs> Or like if you're like going to take a test and the professor's about to ask a question, but two people are like deep in conversation, like oh my god, being I'm, like, "Hey, stop talking." That's harsh. But just looking over and being like, "Shh." Oh my god! If I was in college taking a test and someone shushed me, I was probably trying to find out a couple answers before the test started. <laughs> like I'm trying to get the information I need. Were you shushing in college? Mm-hmm. This shushing has gone. I've been following you. But I, I was just doing it to help people out. You know, just to like give them a little war- like warning, like, hey, you're about to get got. <laughs> Pipe down. I understand this. It still hurts as much as a middle because finger. Then, because then it, but, like you need to shush because if you don't shh, then you're talking and you're contributing to the noise. Oh, are you shushing the person talking to you or are you shushing as a third party and two people are talking? If, if someone is trying to settle a room and get it quiet, if you're talking, telling the other person, hey, stop talking, then I'm going to get shushed. Because now I'm adding to the so noise. So you're shushing to so you don't get shushed? I'm shushing to help those people out so they don't get in trouble. And so that I'm not contributing to the noise level. Mm-mm. It can never go well. Because then I'll look back at, like, say you're doing that. You need to practice I look back at you shushing. in college and I'm like, <laughs> nerd. Get out of here. You know the answers, don't you? It's actually really good. I think you should start shushing. I can't. It's my personal pet peeve. It's what I cry about when I'm alone. <laughs> There's no way. As a loud person. Who invented the shush? That's what I'm looking at right now. So <laughs> I'm, I'm deep. I'm deep I into Alex deep in it. And I thought. Where does shush come yeah. from? You know? So there's um, the origin of all these words seem to come from Middle English. The word uh, pronounced weeshed. Spelled H U I S S T, which originated in around about 1350 to 1400 AD, which is after the Roman Empire, uh, Sarah. Thank you. Uh, Wished, as expected, meant silence or peace. The Scottish, the Scottish plea for silence also includes the sh diagraph, wished, 
sound for signaling the desire for quiet has long been associated with the sound. Sh- so people are trying to figure out when when the lips. I feel like also. that's like very like. Oh, this this like, adds another fucking. Level. Oh yeah yeah yeah. You doing this? What you should do that instead of shh. You should go. No, that's worse. I would yeah, rather. That's, that's that's I would rather have someone do this. That's crazy. No. Then shh or. I would bring it to bring it no, to your lips. Bring I'd rather lips. get shushed. Yeah, same. Sarah. I don't know. Maybe I need to get shushed to really know what this feels like. No, but I feel like this, I feel like you're right. This, this feels like close your mouth. Yeah. Like, yeah. No, that, this is close your mouth. Clip. Yeah, that's, that is, that is that. That's close your mouth. Everyone knows. I feel like wished is very like maestro. If you say wished to me, no problems. I'll be like, wow. What about when people say zip it? Hate it. Well, you know what I also hate? Mind your own beeswax. I hate that. It's kind of a different. It's A B conversation. See yourself out. Oh my God. But I'm, whenever I do that, I'm like, it's so smart. A B C. Wow. Your way out. I How know. did they? Like, Kids are so fucking that's smart. That's a bar. Yeah. It's so smart. And like, if you make assumptions, you make an ass, ass out of you and me. I'm always like, A S S U. Wow. Wow. Even though I've heard it so many times, I always have to like play. And I do make a lot of assumptions. Oh yeah, and I you're do an make an ass out of typically you just are me. An yeah, I, I assume everything, and then someone has to tell me it's wrong. Yeah, it's fine. Just go along with. We it. Sh- okay. I want to talk to you about something because listen here, it's my first season back as being a Bachelor fan. I missed a lot of seasons. By that I mean two. Okay. I'm sorry. Just quickly, no. I, I found the shh. Shh. Real quick. Shh. shh. Zip your lid. <laughs> okay. So looking up the fingers and the lips yeah. thing, it seems to come from Roman classical Rome. With one's thumb against one's curled index finger, twisting the hand in front of one's closed lips. Plainly, this gesture is iconic, suggesting the act of turning a key in a lock to convey the meaning my lips are sealed. Oh, wait, hold on, like this? With one's thumb pressed against one curled index finger. So curled index finger. Oh, oh, oh. Twisting the hand in front of one's closed lips. It kind of like that. Again, with the thumb and index finger pressed together, move them along one's closed lips. That's mm. like kind of like, I'm going to keep a secret, you know? Yeah. 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 Like my lips are sealed. Yeah, so not I wonder, like, I wonder shut if that up. origin, if, if it like just kind of went from here mm. to like that, maybe. Yeah. We'll never know. Sorry. We'll what never if someone know. went like this? <laughs> just, just, you're just like inventing new things now. Like, what if instead of like people went like this, like finger to mouth? Hmm? I think actually like funny. this is more appropriate. That's using a lot of like hand gestures and mm. fingers and stuff. Like, Seems fun though. Yeah. Maybe I'll try some of these things out in real life. Yeah. To my daughter, I'm gonna be like, "What? Oh, oh my god! She'll disown me. It's over." I couldn't. If you were trying to look at someone and tell them to stop talking, what would you? Do? I'd walk away. No, you have to give a look. I have to give a look. That's has to stop give a talking? look. Yeah. Okay. Here it goes. Ready? No, that's just like judgmental. Okay. You know. Yeah, but then they'd probably be quiet. That's what I'm thinking. Oh my god, I'd I'd leave. <laughs> that was but it. But your looks could kill. You have the looks. I do. Yeah, you could I can read you like a book with those eyes. <sighs> I know, I know. Is it because I'm a Scorpio? Probably. It has to be. I mean, there's no other correlation. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Everyone shh. I'm talking about the bachelor. Okay? This is big fucking top news. Top dog news. I'm back. I'm back, baby. And I'm watching TV. Okay. Takes me four days to finish an episode. I don't care. I'm having fun out there. This is what I want to say. The Bachelor, who, whom I love, I didn't get to see him on past seasons, but I'm, 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 I'm an episode in and I'm, I'm enjoying it. He's saying, I want to find somebody that's fun. And I wanted to know, what are your thoughts on that? Because is it everyone fun? Like, is there some people out there that are just like no. really not fun? Yeah, you should you should just find someone that you're compatible with, and then because like their idea of fun is going to be different than your idea of fun. I know. Is it, it everyone? Does that also mean that he's kind of boring? Maybe. And I've been listening he's to like, podcasts. I'm just with not him. having fun at all in life. So I need. Someone. I need someone to like pull me in to have fun. Yeah. I just think like it's such an interesting, number one, you know, I love to watch people flirt on television. It's mm-hmm. like one of my favorite pastimes. Yeah. And Do I you also picture yourself getting the flirt. What I picture is how horrific I would be <laughs> in those instances. Like the flirt that I would give, like that's what I'm imagining. I have the ick of myself. 
You know, like I, I can't see it. I think you'd be good at it. I would be so. Do you think that you're fun? Oh my God. I would so, I would have a great time with me if I was hanging out with myself. Yes, of course. You think you're I back fun? back myself, babe. Yes. Okay. But I also think everyone is fun in turn. Like, I don't think I'm necessarily bringing anything to the table that ev- anyone else isn't. Yeah. I think like, if you're looking for fun, 10 out of 10, you're going to find it. Like, that's, that's in the. In you? No, no, no. In anyone. Like, if someone says like, I'm looking for fun, I'm looking for someone that's fun. Name someone that's not fun. Exactly. I can't. There are. I can't name one person that's not fun. What do you mean? I enjoy, I think everyone is fun. Maybe I think everyone is fun, so I'm confused on who he's around, that he needs to actually find this. Yeah, maybe you haven't been around. Everyone's fun to me. Maybe I haven't been out enough recently, but every time I'm coming into contact with people, I'm like, wow, these people are fucking fun. No. You name one person that's not fun. There's a lot of people that are not fun. Really? Yeah. I haven't met a non-fun person. You've never been around someone that's just not fun? No. <gasps> Lucky. Like, are they just dull? They could be not fun for so many reasons. Well, fun is such a... I feel like everyone could be fun. People could be annoying. They could still be fun. It's such a weird prerequisite to put on a person that you want to marry. Like, I'm looking for a kind person. I'm looking for someone that you know, has jokes. And you know, she also, she's got to be fun. What? Oh, so you think that everyone's fun? Oh, you've been around a boring person Fuck before. No. Yeah. yeah. You, you, when yeah. you're looking around, you're like, oh, I could love her, but you know, she's just not fun. Yeah. No, I mean, I couldn't love her then if she wasn't fun. But, <laughs> but like, can you like actually equate that to being the issue? Like she's not fun. Yeah, actually, actually, I have a mutual friend that had talked about like they're in a long-term relationship, but they don't have fun together. And I'm like, so how are you guys together? What does that mean? I want to like unpack that they sentence. Like, they like they are like codependent, and they do rely on each other to support each other, but they don't seem to do things that fun. bring them but enjoyment. But they don't have interests. Like they don't do things that like bring them enjoyment laugh. often. They don't laugh together. Well, like, are they not funny? Sure. A lot of yeah, people, a lot aren't, of people funny. aren't funny. Yeah. Name one. Everyone seems I feel like this is the controversial Sarah episode because yeah, no I idea what skinny funny. jeans are, no idea what not and, and then things that looks like. But that just says like what kind of person you are. Like, I just like like you just like see like. But I I would also love to have Sarah in a room with someone who's like not fun, like mm-hmm. literally just like a piece of paper. But like n- we can't name one person. No, it, like who like we, uh, we don't want to like somebody you, you know can, like yeah like what do you mean like what do you mean by name a person who's unfun that's what i mean is like it's it's such an interesting thing to say in regards to dating like i'm looking for someone fun i, I like i was like so dissecting many people like, are sentence. very square yeah you met a square so i haven't so many, you've never met a square no okay i don't know what you like i don't know what's where are you guys meeting squares <laughs> wait uh, <laughs> What? Like an unadventurous person doesn't want to But adventurous, take that's risk. another thing. No, but that's kind of, that, that, like fun is like an uh, umbrella term. I know. That's why I was like just trying to like understand like he's he's naming all these things that are so important to him. Mind you, again, I'm into this Bachelor and I'm so excited for this season. But I just thought saying some like if I'm, I'm, I'm out there and I'm really like manifesting my husband and I'm thinking like he better be fucking fun. He better be fun. Yeah. I think it's, you know, like... It's, better, I, ha- better have a good time with them. Better enjoy enjoy living life, that, doing all these, like... Better be- better enjoy, like, doing laundry and taxes with somebody that's fun. Like, he better be fun during those situations. Yeah, exactly. Brings a lighthearted approach to things. That's a makes, better sense. Makes, yeah. I think it's it's not the, the... Doesn't take themselves too seriously. I mean, I'd love to meet someone who takes themselves too seriously. Those people are fucking fun. They're you know fu- what I mean? They're fun to... Yeah, uh, yes, they're fun to observe yes. but not fun to be around all the time yes yeah yes i just think it's more it was more funny for me to think like wow they better be fun yeah i, I just I, mean. I i i never thought of that like i yeah. have to make sure somebody's fun because like everyone you know what it seems is fun you're fun mm. so you bring the fun into every situation and so you've never understood why like but someone maybe that Someone that maybe doesn't know how to bring the fun and bring the energy in a room and has been put in a room with someone who also doesn't know how to do that and there's no like mutual interest. That's true. Horrible time. That's true. I don't know. Oh. 
Imagine if every bonus Alex oh my us. Let's do I'll that. <laughs> I'll never recover. You know, in the oh, bonus. Over the phone ring. Over the phone that's ring. That's pretty good. That's so rude. Damn. Yeah. You know. Are we, you okay? Uh, barely. Um, like, uh, basically, I feel like she's like know, deteriorating with every shush. Like, I've never seen you this way. I'm becoming unfun. One, I'm one shush away be, from becoming what Kate said. And I don't know what it was, but it's this, I think. Oh, seven weenie. I've never seen that movie. Maybe someone on Curb. Someone on Curb would be unfun. Curb but, enthusiasm? But not Larry David. He'd be fun. Sometimes I think like, what would Larry think about this? See, see, Larry. Okay, so that I think Larry could be seen as fun to observe. But I'd say a lot of the people that live with him say that he's not fun because he's constantly like saying this is stupid, like constantly po- poking mm-hmm. holes into things. Mm, yeah, yeah. But, Seems fun. But you could poke with him, you know? Yeah, 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 absolutely. I, I'd consider him fun, though. Mm. You is. know who I love? Susie. Um, <laughs> no. I feel like there's like a, a neck sentence here. Do you not love Susie? Do you know who Susie is? No idea. Oh, okay. I thought, okay. <laughs> I thought that we were waiting for your opinion. You don't know. Susie from Career Enthusiasm. Like Larry's friend's wife. Like Larry's agent's wife? Agent's wife. Yeah, Larry's agent's Her wife. name's Susie? Yeah. Yeah. Wow, I did not know that was her name. Can She's we funny. in the bonus? Can we watch the plop scene? Yes, yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. it's just like the, it's so fucking good. You know what we should also do in the bonus that I didn't include on the piece of paper is talk about what we were talking about on the Patreon with all the different. Yes, you know what I mean. Yes, okay. Hmm? The subjects. Yeah, the subjects. That oh one yes, of our yes, 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 gave yes, us. yes, 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 yes. All right. Well, join us in the bonus. We do an extra thirty minutes there every week. It's patreon.com slash awsfpod. And we can't wait. Yeah, maybe we'll agree. See you there. <laughs>